Hi, Edgar. How are you? Good to see you today. Very good. Likewise. So uh, let's jump right into it because I know that obviously there's a lot to talk about. But um, JVC is a, you know one of the stalwarts at the NAB show floor and always has some really interesting uh, new technologies, especially for the sports market, which you guys have started to create sort of sports specific products. So where would you like to start today as far as um, what's new from JVC as far as for the sports market? Well, this year we are obviously highlighting our new uh, series, which is called Connected Camp. This is a new series of camcorders, which are designed for video over IP workflows. And obviously sports applications are one of the most who can benefit from this uh, workflow, which can be remote, which can be from many different locations, uh, because it's all flows over the internet over IP. So as far as the camera itself, because um, I know obviously there's, there's uh, you guys have done some really cool things with it starts integrating uh, graphics and score bugs and, and all kind of tying into data and kind of creating a one-stop shop, if you will, for a production. So can you walk through as far as, is that part of the Connected Cam uh, philosophy? Absolutely. We, we actually started even before Connected Cam because we have a smaller camera, which is GYHM250, which can also um, embed the score and overlay scores. Uh, on the image, but obviously we improved it and we uh, it's, it's a part of connected cam series. And this is absolutely unique functionality. This camera can actually overimpose uh, not only low thirds or bug for live video, but also live score, which is completely unique. So now, and live score, it's not just live score, it's a, a score which can be updated obviously live over IP, especially when you use it with the uh, Sportscast connected hub, which can actually uh, take the score from the scoreboard, send it over IP to the camera, and then camera will embed it on the recorded uh, files and also on the streaming video, which can be going to uh, any CDN or decoder or studio or anything like that. Right, yeah, so this camera has, uh, you don't need the external encoder or, or uh, in order to get your signals out. It's kind of built into the camera. And can it go over wireless as well? So True, yeah, true. Yeah, we call it connected cam, not only because it is equipped with the wireless and it also equipped with the LAN connectivity, but also because all tools which are needed to move video over IP are built into the camera. We have built an encoder, which allows to stream with the different protocols, with the error correction, obviously, which is essential when yeah. you move video over the internet. But for connected cam, we also added built-in decoder even. So now camera can even receive the video return over IP and wow. display it either in the viewfinder or uh, over the SDI output. Right, oh, that's great. And obviously camera guys love that kind of functionality, especially yeah. I'm guessing in this situation, it's a pretty small camera. It's not just a camera guy, he may be the whole crew, so. No, but we have, we have a whole product line. We have small cameras, which can be used by the individuals. We have also larger, we have two third inch uh, shoulder type of camera, which has the same features, right. which is typically purchased by broadcasters and stadiums. So as far as, um, you know, obviously when we, when we come out of this <clears throat> coronavirus situation, there's going to be a new, some new workflows, you know, and I think people are going to be looking to, uh, especially in the college market and the high school market and, you know, the minor league sports, looking to really get the most out of their production tools. So, you know, what, what do you see as far as the, um, you know, this, this camera bringing together all these disparate elements under one user interface, uh, one cost, um, you know, I'm not going to say what he sees the opportunities, but how can this play a pivotal role in sort of these challenges going forward? Because people will be budget constrained, I think, in the fall. Uh, right, right. Well, the first thing I always tell our customers is something about simplicity, because in many cases, workflow should not be complicated. With all the tools built into the camera, and like I said, we have a product line. We have the cheapest camera, which starts under two thousand dollars, and I'm talking GYHM two hundred and fifty, which the 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 big two third inch camera goes all the way to fifteen thousand dollars. We have a range of cameras, including PTZ camera, but the most important is the simplicity, because when everything is built into the camera, you just plug it into the LAN connector on the, on the campus in the classroom, or you connect to the facility Wi-Fi. And that's all you need to be able to immediately move broadcast quality video from this location to the studio, to the CDN or somewhere else. Gotcha, gotcha, great. Well, thanks again for, again for your time. It was a quick call, but really appreciate it. I um, obviously hope to see you later this year somewhere. Um, who knows when that will be and where that will be, but hopefully it'll be at the latest at NAB New York here in October. Oh, likewise, likewise. Right. We will recover and we'll, be, we'll recover stronger than any time.
Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. So thanks again for everything, all the support, and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you very much.